what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. You sound happy, Lionel. Things going well? Couldn't be better. I'm really getting the hang of this job now. Spanners miss me. Tractors fail to run over me. And problems with oil are a thing of the past. <laughs> all in all, cushy. Very cushy. You're not working on that aircraft, are you, Lionel? Yes, why not? Well, you should have been here earlier. The way the other maintainers were treating that ground equipment... Ground equipment is not my problem. I deal with aircraft. <laughs> Flying machines. <laughs> See? As far as I'm concerned, ground equipment either works or it doesn't. There's a third possibility, you know. Oh, yes. What's that? The equipment can work. Dangerously. <laughs> Nobody seems to care about ground equipment, Lionel, until there's an accident. And then, of course, it's too late. This is how that much abused piece of equipment began its day's work. Note the supply lead trailing. Thoughtless and unnecessary. But then, after all, it's only ground equipment. This sort of thing happens a dozen times a day. But then the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And for the moment, everything seems to be working fine. But just take a close look at the lead. It's been dragged and kicked around the station for so long that the internal wire has become exposed. This rating made the same mistake as you did, Lionel. With the same result. Ground equipment tends to be strong and durable, so properly maintained it will give many years of efficient service. But no piece of equipment will stand up to the sort of misuse that causes damage like this. Can I? Don't interrupt. Try to see the problem from the GE section's point of view. How would you feel if they treated your aircraft the way you treat their ground equipment? I wouldn't like it. But then aircraft are delicate and highly complicated machines. So if you treated them like that, they'd become dangerous and unsafe. <laughs> About as unsafe as this ladder. It's a never-ending cycle. While the equipment is misused, the unit's ground equipment rating isn't encouraged to maintain it properly. And while it's in a bad state of repair, the maintainer will misuse it. And round it all goes again. The result in this case was a ruined battery costing about a hundred pounds. Okay, we're not saying that replacing that component will break the Navy's bank. But multiply it by the number of times that this sort of thing happens every year, and it begins to look like a problem worth solving. And make no mistake, it's everybody's problem. Absolutely. If we all stand together, shoulder to shoulder, with our backs to the wall. Oh, who's got a puncher outfit? Oh, oh, ah, sticking plaster! Oh. Look, Lionel, stop messing about. Keep your attention on the job in hand. Here is a perfectly serviceable hydraulic rig. But just look at the hoses, left lying in a dirty drip tray. Once this sort of carelessness creeps into our working life, it's difficult to stop it as this rating is about to demonstrate. He didn't leave the hoses in the drip tray, but makes matters much worse by coupling up the rig without cleaning them. The aircraft's hydraulic system had to be checked for possible contamination. Annoying and time-consuming. We have enough to do in a busy schedule without creating work for ourselves. There's another point to be made, by the way. If the second rating had sought permission from his supervisor to apply hydraulic power, the mistake would probably never have arisen. Permission, Lionel. Always ask for permission. Here we have an aircraft up on jacks. Everything seems okay until the maintainers attempt to take the weight off the locking collar. Surprise, surprise. It doesn't work. Now that couldn't have happened if the jack had been checked before use. Well, at least for once, I'm not involved. That's something, I suppose. Lionel. What? Could you help for a minute? Just hold the aircraft up while we find some good jacks. Sure. Why not? Make <laughs> oh. it snappy. This thing weighs a ton. I hate to tell you this, Lionel. We've just looked and there aren't any serviceable jacks on the station. Could you hold on for a couple of days? A couple of days? Oh, you must be joking. 
Get me out of here. Somebody get me out of here. I'm sorry, Lionel, but you know how it is with ground equipment. <laughs> Well, I care. I care. <laughs> <laughs> 